Okay, so we just got done with the... What was that? The, uh... Found the kitty cat error handling. Um, and we're going to look at basically the... I'm sorry, it wasn't error handling. Improper input validation. Unvalid redirects. Uh, it's going to be our next one we're going to look at. So the outdated allow list. Uh, let us redirect you to one of the cryptocurrency addresses which are not promoted any longer. Um, so... I guess what we've got to do is find out where that might be referenced to begin with. Uh, if we go over to accounts, I'm going to log in. Um, I don't know if I have an account on this instance because I did reset it previously. Let's just try logging to admin, admin, maybe admin password. And if not, we'll uh, go ahead and just make a new account. So if you don't have one like we did previously, register. So now I'm going to log in. And again, I've said this multiple times, uh, but the you don't need an actual valid email, right? Because fake doesn't go anywhere. Again. All right, so we're logged in. Um, I'm going to add this to the basket. Um, maybe look at my account. Orders and payment, maybe? Uh, let's check my payment options, see if there's a way. We could add a credit card. Maybe. Uh, hmm. Let's see. And then there's an add or debit card. Uh, uh, let's go to maybe check out. So again, I'm just kind of looking for an area that might have some type of payment area. I'm guessing it has to be in this, whoops, my payment options area. Um, So let's see, uh, let's right click, we'll do some uh, inspect, and let's look at the debugger, and we're going to look at this file here, uh, just to see if we could find reference to a some type of um, payment option page. I'm going to do a quick control F search. All right, payment mode, payments. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of results on that. Um, did we do the prettify? Oh, that's right. It looks like it's beautified here, so we don't have to worry about that. Keep going. So again, we're kind of analyzing two things here. First, we're looking at the code and just for the overall main site to see if we could find a reference to it. Uh, so that's kind of where this is defined. And we're looking for a reference to a dead Bitcoin link that isn't here anymore. Or, you know, some type of... Um, cryptocurrency, right? Well, you know what? Instead of doing that, why don't I just do this? Silly me. 
got first hit on Bitcoin. Oops, helps if you spell Bitcoin right. Uh, so there's definitely code in here to show some type of Bitcoin QR code. Right, um, keep following that. And eventually the QR code should get us to, yeah, there we go. So it looks like there was code in here to display a Bitcoin QR code. And those QR codes are those like crazy little scan things that you might see. Um, and it looks like it does do a redirect to this particular address when you hit it. So um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab this redirect here. And we don't need the little single quote. And we're going to copy this to the clipboard. Um, so redirect, boom. And let's see if we could get this bad boy to go. Um, you know, what's funny is we have, I still have Prometheus in there. That's kind of funny from earlier. Uh, paste, does that look okay? We got the slash. Redirect, we get the question, the query parameter, two, and let's give that a go. Yay! So if you guys wanted to donate to, uh, well, that's a lot of Bitcoin. Huh. Looks like it's empty. Um, you withdrew from it. At some point, oh, it was recent. Hey, look at that. Look, somebody's still donating. So that's nice. If you want to make a donation to Bitcoin, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Uh, let me see how much. You guys want to look up how much Bitcoin that is? Just for fun. See how much money he made off of that. It helps if I type and spell correctly. Try that. Ah, that's a nice little chunk of change. All right, 571 bucks. Not bad. All right, good for him. Um, let's go, now that we got completely off track, let's go back to the main juice shop application. Um, where were we? Over here. We could find it anywhere. And I'm going to wipe this out, go back, and then check our scoreboard. Yeah, oh, it also just kind of updated us on all the stuff that we've solved and just to verify scoreboard loading I'm going to close my dev tools out I don't need them right now and we see that the outdate allow list was allowed uh, well completed I should say and it tells you the uh, again the uh, how to avoid and then the code base that kind of uh, yeah has that in there all right, that's it. Thank you. We'll move on to the next one.